Everybody, blessings to you. Shalom, shalom. This is Pastor Ben here. Praise God. I'm so glad y'all are here. It's it's a wonderful day, a wonderful time. Listen, uh, I just want you to give some hearts, likes, and do share. Uh, comment below. Where are you watching from? I'm really excited today. We have a special guest, uh, wonderful woman of God, prophetess Sherelle Barrera, um, all the way from Washington State. So uh, let us know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen. And do share, share, because in a few minutes. I am going to bring Miss Sherelle Barrera into the broadcast. Amen. So praise God. Sandarabosarabroska. Zamana, hello there, Faith Neo from Singapore. Tina Parker, blessings. Judah, Michael. Oh, morning. Yes, Michelle Strong. What a strong name. Child of Most High, blessings. Maria Garcia. Oh, yes, I recognize that name. Naomi, blessings to you. Yes, Marina, Marina from Ontario. Listen, our 7M group is strong in this morning broadcast. Hello, Stephanie, blessings to you. Ooh, hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. I guess this is only being broadcasted in my public, not my personal as well. So I need to share this. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Zabata. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Well, I want you to share, share, do share, people of God. And uh, I guess I'm sharing to all of our groups since nobody's doing that yet. Anyways, amen. Well, listen, I want to give some announcements here. Of course, uh, if you want to grow deeper in mentorship uh, with myself uh, in a group, we do have something called 7M Glory Equip. And admin, of course, this is a time for you to post it. Uh, we do have a new mentorship group called 7M Glory Equip. Uh, if you want to go higher in the prophetic and the apostolic and the things of God and your calling, um, you know, in the seven mounts of society, uh, in the kingdom realm. So uh, we invite you. It's called 7M Glory Equip. Lives are being changed. There's real genuine discipleship, mentorship taking place. You know, we don't just want to give you information. We want real relationship, real impartation. Amen. So go ahead and join us for that. And of course, uh, tonight, someone say tonight, if you're in the LA SoCal area, listen, some friends have just flown in from Seattle. Friends have driven from Central California. Uh, I just uh, took wind that people are flying in from uh, Nicaragua. Okay, uh, we have a seven-day crusade starting today. Okay, starting today, we have a seven-day crusade with evangelist Ankit Rambabu, him and his father. They are the largest evangelists in all of India. And uh, we're going seven days strong, people of God. You tell me who else in America, all right, besides Dr. Ronnie Har Brown, is having consistent revival, soul-winning crusade events in the United States of America right now, okay? I believe it's a season for America to be saved like never before. And uh, so we're doing seven days straight from today, from Monday on to Sunday, okay? Seven days straight in Costa Mesa. It's called the Festival of Miracles. So I invite you. It's going to change your life, okay? It's going to be a powerful, incredible time. So we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen? And uh and also, of course, I want to talk about tomorrow. Um, we have Sister Agnes Abedi. Okay, she's a prophetic woman of God, incredible prophetic woman of God. Tomorrow we have Prophetess Agnes Abedi, and that's going to be powerful. That's going to be wonderful. So do join us tomorrow as well. Uh, and, of course, the next day we have Matt Cruz, and on Thursday we have Marcus Rogers. Amen. Well, praise God. Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Uh, I want to have uh, the woman of God, Prophet Sherelle Barrera, come on in now. So go ahead, team. You can bring her in here. Let's see that. Uh, hey, <laughs> Blessing, do you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me good? I do. I do. Just like on that wedding day, Jesus says, I do. So <laughs> praise God, woman of God. Good seeing you. It's been some time uh, since we've been on a broadcast or anything together. What's new? What's happening? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, man. Well, we birthed a revival hub here in the Tri-Cities, and uh -huh. we've been seeing miracles. We have been we started a school of supernatural, and people are just, people are growing so quickly, and it's awesome to see everybody coming together and believing God for miracles. Our second service, we had a guy walk out of a wheelchair, mm. and it was just incredible. It's just been amazing. So... Mm. Um, our actually our first service outside our one of the pastors was healed of four aortic aneurysms. The doctors gave him a death sentence. So it's been amazing just to see mm. what God is doing here. Mm -hmm. Wow, it, it, isn't that such a contrast, uh, Sherelle? Because uh, in a year 2020, where so many things are getting shut down, people like you, you're actually opening up, you're birthing. You know, where, where people are dying mm -hmm. off, uh, different ministries and ministers are dying off and, and going away. But you actually started a revival hub in Tri-City, which is in Washington. So tell us about that. Yeah. You know, I mean, in midst of where people are, are saying, oh, pandemic, coronavirus, but you're actually seeing miracles and healing miracles and you're seeing things birthed. Talk to us about that. Well, I just feel like... You know, the Lord does not want us to give in to fear. He does not want us to shut down. He doesn't want us to quit. And when all this happened and all the churches shut down, we started just hosting revival in our home with our children. And then God kept giving people words. In fact, you were the first person that spoke over us that we were going to birth something here. And then it just confirmation after confirmation. Wow, and God you believed kept, it and you received it and it's happening. Yes. Come on, believe God at his word. Come on. Jesus, come on. So I believed that word and I received it, even though I felt like it was like a huge weight. I thought, I can't do this. I'm not equipped for this, but Lord, I'm just going to trust you at your word and believe that if you said it, you're, you're going to do it. And he did it. He provided everything, even the building. Mm. And so oh I God. just think that it's so important to teach our children and the people around us in this time to hold wow. fast to God, mm. cling to his word, continue to believe him for miracles, signs and wonders. We're supposed to to stand out. We're supposed to be set apart. Yeah. So even when everything else is shutting down, I'm still going to believe God. Mm. Wow. Even yeah. at, even though yeah, so good. Even though everything is shutting down, we're still going to believe God because our faith in God never shuts down. In fact, when, mm -hmm. whenever there's uh, whenever there's opposition, there's going to be greater opportunity. And people like you, I mean, you're thriving. The Lord's blessing you. The anointing's on you. The grace is on you. And I love it because we need to have faith in God. I, I, I just felt right now, Sherelle, that there's a grace that just came into our broadcast room. I mean, you said that you were given a building, things that started happening quickly like that. And that's a spirit of favor and mm -hmm. acceleration. I want you to just release that yes. over our people right now before we go any Ooh. further. So go ahead. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Ah, yeah. she yes, so, Lord. Father, I just release your favor, God. I send angels of acceleration on yeah. assignment over your people, God. Angels of provision, Father God. God, I just see faith stirring up right now in people's spirits. I feel the fire of God in my belly. Rabbi Some of you are hearing this God. word right now and you're receiving it by faith. Yeah. And you're going to burst something in this season. You're going to burst something new. Uh, I just hmm. declare that there's several people on here, Pastor Ben that heard that word that you spoke over me about birthing a revival hub. Right. And there's several people on here watching right now at the sound of my voice. You're going to yeah. take that word in and say, I yeah. receive it Come by on. faith. 
and you're going to birth something this year. You're going to birth your yeah. own revival hub. You're going to birth your own uh, in-house meetings and you're going to see signs, wonders and miracles in the spirit of God moving in your home and upon your children and upon all the people around you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Woo, she cut up a fire. Fire. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, that's so good. You know, uh, it, 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 of course, you know, that terminology of birthing, it's, it's uh, used so much in the charismatic prophetic movement. Uh, but, you know, yeah. I, of course, I prophesy that many things and many people are going to give birth because people wow. have been in honeymooning in quarantine. So, uh, you know, because people have been stuck in quarantine, <laughs> say, hey, baby, where you been? I've been at work, but now we're in quarantine and we're stuck at home. So, you know, of course, there's going to be real genuine babies and birthing. And that's what happens. You know, he draws us in and away from the crowd into the cave, not the cave of fear, but the cave of prayer. And then he oh. births something fresh in due time. And we want to tell you right now that this is the time. It's the time not to run and hide, but to arise Come and shine. This is the time for the church to be bold, to stand up on God's word, and to defy the false prophets of Baal and Jezebel. And it's the time and the season for you to give birth. I'm telling you right now, God's about to do something supernatural. And of course, we're in a new Hebrew year, 5781. So because whenever a baby's being birthed or born, sometimes, you know, the process is a little messy. You know, it's revival is messy at times. So that's what's going on. There's something fresh and something new that's happening. But I want to talk about this real quick, prophetess. And then uh, I'll give the mic over to you. As you're talking, I'm reminded of this. Luke 18, verse 8. The Bible says, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? Someone say faith. When a Son of Man faith. returns, will he find faith on the earth? And I pray that he will find faith. In your life, I pray that God will find the residue of faith that takes residence in your being, that he will find the substance of faith in your life when he returns on the earth. And of course, all of this it has to do with the parable of the persistent widow. Come on, somebody. Have you felt like something died? Have you felt like some things have died off in your life? That's a widow. You feel like it's dead. Oh, the prophets have lied. Oh, I feel like you missed it. Oh, what's going on in America with the election? Well, have you felt like something's dead? You're in remorse. You're in sadness and grief. But the widow was persistent and bam, she got the desires of her heart. Who am I talking to? I believe God is about to open up the heavens in your life. He's about to end prayers because you're being persistent. You're not giving up. You're not giving in. And Jesus says, I want to find faith on the earth when I return. I want to see faith in your soul, in your spirit when I return. Someone say amen. So we release faith in the name of Jesus that your prayers are about to be answered like never before. And listen, take heart, people of God, right now. God is actually answering our prayers, exposing injustice, corruption, evil. He's He is answering our prayers right now, whether it looks like it or not. So I'm saying, man, go ahead, prophetess. Oof. You know, I can't find the scripture that I read last night, but I had never read it before. I was reading in the passing translation. I was looking it up, but I found some different scriptures. But it was something about not giving into even a little bit of fear because okay. it will take you over. And so we can't be listening to the news right now. We can't be listening to false reports. Yeah. We have got to stand strong and stand in the faith because God says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed yeah. for I am your God. I will Come strengthen on. you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my yeah. righteous right hand. Come on. The enemy right now, Pastor Ben, he is looking for our agreement. Mm. He is looking for mm. us to say, oh, well, Jesus. I guess it's over. Oh, well, I guess uh, we can just throw in the towel. Come on. Did yeah. David did David go and bow before Goliath because Come Goliath on. looked bigger than him? He did not go before Goliath and bow in front of him and say, well, I guess you look bigger than me. I'm, I'm just going to surrender. I'm just going to surrender to you because you're bigger than me. No, he didn't. He believed God at yeah, his word. 
he believed him. So he took that stone and he threw it at the head of Goliath. And what we need to do right now is take our words and throw them at the yeah, enemy. Yeah, come on. We need to take our words and speak out in faith. Uh -huh. We need to come in agreement with what the word of God is saying. We need to come in agreement yeah. with what Jesus is speaking over the nations. God wants someone in the office that is for righteousness, holiness, for the unborn. So no matter what it looks like, yeah, yeah. we've got to keep speaking in faith. Come mm. on. Come on. And I, I love what you said earlier, woman of God. We cannot agree with the things of the devil. We cannot agree. And the thing is, God is looking for people who really agree with the divine word of God right now. Mm -hmm. The true mm -hmm. word of God. I mean, I mean, who are you listening to? What are you listening to? We need to shut off CNN. We need to shut off Fox mm -hmm. News right now. Just, you know, detach yourself and focus in the spirit and in prayer. And I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. What God has spoken in the secret place, he will confirm it in the public. And I believe Come right on. now, the days where God is about to confirm some things publicly, he's about to make some things obvious and make some things known. So let's pray right now because I feel the Holy Ghost. God, I pray right now. We come into agreement with your word. If you said it, it will not return void. If you said it, it will not be derailed. And I command right now any sabotaging spirit to be bought down and to be brought low. And Lord, I speak to every sabotaging spirit that it is done and it is finished. In the mighty name of Jesus, release the fire of God. God, I thank you right now for fresh fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus, go ahead, woman of God. Anything else? Before I just rebuke yeah. the spirit of fear and intimidation I'm off the body of Christ Roman right now. Is, I rebuke the Antichrist spirit yeah. right now. Come spirit on. of witchcraft, I sever it in Jesus' mighty Rabba name. Rabba. I send Rabba. angels of resurrection power over everybody watching right now. Yes. I declare people's bodies are being healed. I declare people's eyes are being opened. I declare the fog is lifting right now. Confusion, go right now in jesus name wow. Shanda, you know uh, i release the fire yeah. i just i just saw an angel of deliverance just just uh go forth i felt that yes yeah. Yeah, and i believe right now god is actually gonna heal and deliver people from mental illnesses from bipolarism uh -huh. schizophrenia hearing voices okay um, so if you've been dealing with hearing voices, bipolarism, schizophrenia, mental illness, I want you to just lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. And, uh, you know, and if you have loved ones, beloved ones who struggle with these types of things, it's not a mental illness. It's a spiritual mm -hmm. devil. And right now we rebuke it. We release fire on it. Fire of God. Roboska. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for full deliverance, full healing. Touch them right now in every area, generationally, bind, rebuke, release, now in Jesus' name. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. And some of you that have experienced this or the doctors have deemed this over you, we cancel that false report. Hmm. We cancel that demonic report. It can go back to the pit of hell right now in Jesus' name. Come on. We send it back right now in Jesus' name. You know, right before you said that, I felt like this fire come over my body. And when Jeez. I feel that, I know the Lord is releasing deliverance. So I feel wow. like there's also uh, deliverance here from uh, demonic oppression. Yeah. Uh, I specifically just heard schizophrenia. I don't yeah. know if you said that or not, but I just heard that. So demonic oppression, a shikara yes, yes. So Father, we just release the fire of I'm God on over people right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. I break off all demonic oppression. Shika tormenting spirits go now. In yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Name. All lying spirits, we release the fire of God on you right now in Jesus' name. Mm. Wow, praise the Lord. Well, amen. Listen, if, if you receive that, if something's going on in your life, in your body right now, I, we just want you to comment below. Just comment below if you're experiencing something. Well, woman of God, uh, you know, the Lord told me, uh, you know, put on my heart to do something called prophetic fire. Uh, invite different friends, uh, prophetic ministers. 
uh, and together and to do four days straight. So, of course, you're starting it off. So incredible, incredible. I love uh, the flow that's already happening right now. Yeah. But, you know, there's a word that God's put in your heart right now to talk with the people. So um, talk to us. What's going on? What is what, what did God lay on your heart to share with the people that's on right now? He's just been laying it on my heart to tell everybody not to give in to the spirit of fear. Stop watching the news. Stop listening to false reports. Just continue to stand and believe God at his word. There's, you know, the... There's things that are being exposed right now and corruption that is being exposed. There's certain outlets that are just put up by the enemy yeah. purposely to project fear and intimidation on people in this world. So I just want to encourage you guys, get alone with God. Hear from him. Practice intimacy with the Lord right now. Celebrate. I, you know, I told people this at the Revival Hub the other day. I said, come on, guys. If we can't celebrate God now when it looks bad, then why should we celebrate when God does miracles? We mm. need to celebrate now like the victory has already been won. We need to call things as though they are not, as though they are, right? So we need to we need to celebrate like the victory has already been won. Uh, we can't give in to media and, and everything that's going on right now. Come on, there's so much censorship. Let me ask a question. Why is everything censored? There's a reason that there's this party that that is censoring everything because they don't want the truth out. So we have to push in and we have to press in. We have to seek the Lord at this time. Surround yourself with people that have faith. If you don't have the faith, surround yourself with people that have the faith. And you know what? Repent. Repent for giving into fear. Sure. Repent for giving into unbelief. I had to do it myself, Pastor Ben. You know, I listened to the news for about five seconds the other day and it gave me a headache all night long. I had to repent for even listening to that. I had to repent for even giving into uh, the lies of the enemy because <clears throat> all it takes is one little seed of the enemy. He's just trying to plant one little seed into your yeah. spirit. And so you have to guard your heart. You have to be careful what you allow in your spirit and what you allow in your heart at this time. Protect your heart. Guard your heart. Yeah, come on. Align your ear to the Lord. Robo Robo wow, I just I just saw right now uh, a shield of fire coming around right now. And does any any lies on witchcraft, just yeah. accusation, slander, we just burn it off right now. Mm. A wall of fire is, is being released right now. And uh, I just hear uh, also right now, just according to your word, uh, woman of God, just what is faith? You know, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And faith yes. is offensive to the faithless and to the religious. Faith is actually the realm of God. But we need to have childlike faith. So childlike faith is actually very offensive to the religious. OK, and to people that are compromised in the world, because, mm -hmm. oh, how can you believe in a God when he's invisible? Well, how can you believe more in COVID-19 yeah. when it's invisible? And so, you know, faith is powerful. <laughs> and I believe right now God is releasing this gift of faith uh, over people so that we will actually be encouraged. You know, one of the things I want to say before I pass it back to you, woman of God, is, you know, did the prophets miss it? Right. And I, of course, I did a teaching on this on Friday and I'm going to be re uh, releasing more um, public statements and teachings uh, in the next few days. But people are asking, did the prophets miss it? I just saw on CBN right now, Christian Broadcasting Network, prophets say they did not get it wrong. It's not over. Someone say it's not over. Come on. Someone it's say not it's not over. over. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and say it's not over. Rakoto. Listen. That's the word of God. It's not yet over. And I want to ask you, did the prophets miss it? You know, are the prophets in error? Is there a lying spirit, a spirit of confusion going on? There's no confusion. I don't about believe it. So. There's no confusion. I don't about believe it. so. Yes. Like, not and go ahead. Well, you know, I, 
I honestly, I found myself upset the other day because I seen some pastors repenting for missing uh, hearing the <laughs> Lord. And, <laughs> and you know what I said to myself, I said, those pastors are going to yeah. be the same ones that repent for not believing God at his word. Yeah. God has brought us this far. Why would Come he on. stop now? Yes. There's been so many confirmations. I mean, even my son, Samuel, had a dream, Pastor uh -huh. Ben, that uh, back in July. And he said that in the dream, Biden won. And he came in my room. He was just he was uh, he was so upset. I guess he just had like an urgency in his spirit. And he said in my dream, Biden won. But then Trump was reinstated and people went to jail. Hmm. And. Yeah, that's what that's what my son Samuel said. And I didn't even know that anybody else had been prophesying this or anything. I don't really follow any other prophets or anything because I want to hear from the Lord myself. But I wasn't even hearing this. I just know last year the Lord spoke to me and he gave me a vision and he showed me Trump very distressed during this time. And I saw the riots and everything. I went live and my husband had an angelic encounter after this vision. He was visited by an angel in our hotel room. And uh, and the Lord told me he's sending Michael. He, he kept repeating it. Mm, he said, no yeah, worry, I'm sending Michael. I'm yeah. sending Michael. I'm sending Michael. And this was a year ago. So the Lord was already preparing me last year for what was to come. Mm. And then just recently, um, before the election, I had a vision of Jesus with his arms wrapped around Trump and he was hugging Trump. And he said, pray for his heart to endure this. And I didn't, I, I honestly did not know what was going to happen. I just, you know, I was hoping for the best, but I guess God has a bigger plan and, and it's not even over yet. So for people to just give up and start saying, well, I guess I missed it. That is very disheartening. We need to believe God at his word. You either yeah. hear him or you don't. And I'm not going to apologize before yeah. man because I don't care about the opinion of man. When it all comes down to it, Pastor yeah, Ben, we have to know that we hear God or we or we don't. And so I believe God at his word and I'm going to keep standing on it. Amen. That's incredible. You know, uh, uh, just about a month ago, uh, I started having encounters with uh, uh, Gabriel and Michael, and uh, wow. of I've been, uh, you know, of course, I shared it uh, publicly a number of different forums and places. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I even had a dream where I was in Sid Roth's studio, and uh, as I was sitting across from him, uh, uh, it wasn't actually Sid Roth in the chair, but it was actually his angel. And it was, the, I know it was the angel, Archangel Michael. And the Lord Ooh. spoke to me and said that, uh, you know, the Archangel Michael is being released in this time. And so I believe that the Lord is is sending out specific angels uh, on assignment. And yes. uh, actually, these angels are working right now to expose fraud and to expose all demonic activity and agendas. I was just in Washington, D.C. Uh, last weekend, and I had a huge uh, encounter with a massive angel that was about 70 feet tall. And in Whoa. one hand was a, a sword of righteousness and on the left hand was a scroll and the lord began speaking to me saying that this angel is a scribe angel that writes out legislation in the united states and then right after that i had encounter with a treasury angel okay a treasury oh. angel which is the angel over the treasury of the united states of america oh. and of course the treasury has to do with uh, you know, taxes has to do with finances, has to do with money, has to do with currency. And the Lord told me that, whoosh, I just feel right now that the bank vault of the U.S. Treasury is about to break open and explode in a great way. Like it's like going to skyrocket. The economy is going to skyrocket. I saw bank vaults exploding, breaking open. <laughs> like Unamont's explosive power. Robin Hood, where gold and silver is just being released back to the people. Gold and silver, gold and silver, bam, bam, bam. And uh, so so there's some incredible things going on right now in the spirit. You can put us back. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but there's some incredible things going on in the spirit. 
But I, I, I want to say this r- real quick right now because, um, you know, we're, we're living in such a time where things are being separated, where uh, the sheep are being separated from goats. Mm-hmm. Uh, good is being called evil. Evil is being called good. We're living in such a time of confusion and such a time where it seems like things are being separated and things are being counted. But I want to tell you right now that the just shall live by faith. The Bible says that the just, the righteous will live by faith and the just will roar boldly like a lion. So I believe right now we're going to hear the trumpets blast. We're going to hear the lions roar. In fact, last week I had a vision and I saw the roar of righteous lions all Mm. across America. Like there's a roar of justice and there's a roar, you know, going forth. And whoo, shoo. (laughs) So this is the time and season, people of God, for you to roar with victory, for you to be encouraged because – I'm telling you, by before we end 2020, and the, this month and next month, we're going to see some radical acceleration, radical changes, reformation. It, it's going to be powerful. Go ahead, woman of God. It is. You know, there's also been such an incredible increase in miracles. Even on Facebook Live, yeah. I've seen blind eyes healed. <laughs> deaf ears healed. And in fact, before I came on here, the Holy Spirit was telling me he wanted to heal deaf ears today. So we're going to believe God for that here in a few minutes. But um, we were on a broadcast, Pastor Ben, one of our last broadcasts, and a woman was healed of a tumor. It shrank during the live. Come on. That that is powerful. Yeah. Was that that a live with you and me or somebody else? Yeah, that was me and you. That was, that was yes. months ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was incredible. And then um, I got a testimony this morning from a lady. She said she'd been bedridden for two years, Pastor Ben. Mm. The Lord showed me that she had a broken heart. I hope it's okay to share this. I prayed for her heart to be healed. And she, I told her in three days, you're going to walk out of your bed and you're going to be healed. And she walked out of her bed, just as I said, and she is healed. She's off depression medication. and, And she also said she felt her jaw moving her she had a crooked jaw she said she felt supernaturally her jaw moving back into place and she felt like her teeth she felt her teeth being healed she felt like dental anesthetic in her mouth she couldn't believe it she was just shocked and so it's incredible what God's doing. I, I had a lady uh, a couple months ago. I still need to get her on here for a testimony, but she had a prolapsed bladder for 10 mm. years. Mm. Now that even with surgery, Pastor Ben, mm. that is pretty much impossible to fix. I know women that have had surgery after surgery after surgery with having a prolapsed bladder. She said she was watching a replay of one of my lives oh, good. and she was healed. She felt like supernatural surgery on her bladder and she was healed. She said, I wow. am completely healed. So I'm just, I'm excited. I'm, wow, I'm wow. so miracles. Yeah. You know, that right world is opened up right now. We're going to pray for some people. One moment of God before we close Please. here, but I, I feel right now. And listen, if you need a miracle or if you want to receive a uh, uh, miracle healing in your body, or you would like to receive prayer. I just want you to comment right now. I don't know if you can see the comments, woman of God, but I want yeah. you to comment right now because in a minute I'm going to release prophetess uh, Sherelle to minister because that realm and the grace is open. But the the reason why we need to remember the Bible it repeats itself so many times. Remember what I did in Egypt. Remember how I brought you out of Egypt on wings of eagles. Remember when I split the Red Sea. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, recount the miracles of old. We need to remember, okay? Stop remembering the past of sin and and trauma. Remember how God broke in and saved you from the pit of hell. And so right now, that's the power of testimony because we testify of the goodness of God that if he did it in the past, he can do it right now. So go ahead, woman of God. I want you to shoko robo, robo Scott, Rebecca Trimbell, supernatural healing, uh, hernia, 
uh, hiatal hernia surgery right now. So, so speak into the right now, woman of God. Woo. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Ben, I actually would love it if you would pray over her because she comes to the revival hub and we've okay. been praying over her. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would love for you to pray. Amen. For well, well uh, what is this lady? Doing? Rebecca, just lift up your hands. God, I speak yeah. fire, Rebecca. power, and alignment in the hip, in the back, in the body. I command Ooh. every foul thing to be rebuked. And right now, hip, Jesus. hernia, bam, bam, fire. Healing now, Rokosko, Mandele. I speak right now, a 24 hour turnaround right now. In the name of Jesus, that's a word for many of you right now. I just saw it and heard it. Expect a 24 hour turnaround in Jesus' name. In the next 24 hours, the very thing that you've been waiting for and waiting on, God's about to release it. In the name of Jesus, 24 hour turnaround. Amen. Talk to us. Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? What are you experiencing right now? Jesus. Praise God. Shandara, and let's keep moving yeah. on. Ooh, yeah. There's something happening right here. Um, I just felt the fire of God in my uh, neck right here. Lord, what is this? Ooh, I believe that God is healing thyroids right now in Jesus' name. Ooh, yeah, we've yeah. also been seeing supernatural weight loss, Pastor Ben. I yeah. prayed over a lady in Oklahoma, and she lost 38 pounds in three days. All right, come on. So good. Yes, so amazing. I was shocked more than the lady was. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, good. so thyroids be healed right now. I just released supernatural weight loss over people. I declare that right now where you've been holding on to water weight, be loosed in Jesus name. All inflammation be loosed out of bodies right now in Jesus yeah. name. All demonic oppression in the bloodstream, in the vessels, in the muscles. Shakarabasa be broken and loosed in Jesus mighty name. I send angels of resurrection power yeah. ministering angels to touch every person watching right now. I just want you guys to lift your hands in yeah. faith. I just release the fire of God right now. Somebody's spine yeah. is being touched right now. Shakarabasa. And I see it like um snapping back into place. It's the in the middle of the back right now. Shakarabasa. Thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Uh, thyroid be healed. Amen. Inflammation. Yeah. Exactly. Shandarabosa. I think Thank someone you. has a tumor right here. That's what I'm feeling, Pastor Ben. Can we pray for that real Let's quick? Let's pray for that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And if that's you, if you have a tumor in your neck, especially the left left side neck, uh, just uh, just comment below, or you know somebody in your family. Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna come in agreement. I believe that that tumor is going to dissolve. In fact, seeing tumors and cysts dissolve, that's one of my specialties. Okay. Yeah. Well, God will do it right now. Yeah. He'll do it. Jesus. Shataraba. Me, I do. Anita de Souza. Yes, on left side, specifically the left side. Is that okay. you, Anita de Souza? Yeah, she said, I do. Yeah. Well, well, let's pray right now. Yeah. Father, we thank you. Power. Yeah. Fire, yeah, feel a lump on left throat. Yeah, I rebuke that. Lumps, cysts uh, in the thyroid, in the neck, be dissolved now. Oh, Any that's... fluid, inflammation, anything that's uh, filled itself, uh, sakarata, Holy Ghost, release it right now. Loose it, pop, goes the weasel, pop, pop, goes the weasel, pop. Look at that, Teresa Rarden, that's me, I have tumor. We, I pray for a drainage right now, a drainage. Uh, I remember Katie Souza was ministering in Florida, and she said that a lot of people, when you feel draining from your nose or your eye, that's actually deliverance from Leviathan, and it's deliverance Whoa. from marine type of spirit. Jesus. Okay, but I, I just feel a draining right Ooh. now, and anybody with this word about the thyroid, if you're feeling a draining right now, like some's draining, like, you know, being released, liquids being drained. If that's you, I want you to comment below right now. Sure. Sure. Yeah, pop goes the weasel. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, Bless fire. you and healing to you, favela. Yeah. Fire. Sure. 
Je, ta, 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 ta. We command the tumors to go right now. Yeah. In Jesus name. I release the fire of God over tumors right now. Lumps. Leila Marie. Stephanie. Somebody Pumpkin said my lump is gone, Pastor Ben. Yeah. Feels like a grape normally. It went right down. Awesome. Come on. So good. Woo! Layla Marie. Yes, draining. Yeah. April Parker. Yes, draining. Look at that. The Holy Ghost is moving. Jesus. Yeah, on the left side is pulsating and fire. Fire. Yeah. Fire. 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 fire, fire. More yeah, fire. Hallelujah. Whoosh. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. What we want you to do, everybody who's experiencing a miracle, what we want you to do, we want you to email us at admin at benlimglobal.com. I want you to post that there, Deborah. Okay, admin at benlimglobal.com. We want you to testify about what God's doing and the miracles that's taking place. You know, it's so easy. It's so simple. The woman of God discerned it by word of knowledge and the spirit. We released it. We came into agreement. And the hand of the Holy Ghost touched you and healed you. Hallelujah. Yes, lump disappeared under an armpit. I remember uh, <laughs> Tandiwe, Jersey of Matota. I remember I was ministering and uh, one of my spiritual sons, CJ, he had a lump under his armpit, and I was ministering, seeing lumps dissolve, and then he went home that night, totally forgot about the word, checked the armpit, and the lump was gone. Come yeah. on. Uh, so, come on, he's bang, 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 in the name of Jesus. Whoosh, yeah. whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Listen, <laughs> woman of God, I want, you to, uh, I want you to release some prayer. Okay, this uh, over one or two more people, and then we're, we're gonna have to end here. But this okay. is just so incredible here. Yeah, yeah. we need to do this more often. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, um, thank you. So in both ears to go blackness from mind from demonic spirits. Lisa Sell Sewall, why don't you pray for her? Okay, so she said deaf ears. Uh, buzzing in both ears. Oh, like okay. My deliverance from demonic spirits. Okay, yeah. So um, I have a testimony about that in California. I prayed over uh, Anna. Remember, she had ringing in the ears, and her ears were completely healed, and it was from witchcraft. Wow. So right now, in Jesus' name, yeah. we just sever. I sever all witchcraft. Uh, just come out of agreement. If, you, if you've done anything. Uh, with the occult or anything like that in the past, I want you to just repent for that. And I want you to just say, Father, I receive your complete healing. I release yeah. the fire of God over Come your on. ears right now in Jesus' name. I command all ringing to stop. Let <laughs> ears be opened in Jesus' mighty name. I release the fire right now. Yeah. Fire, 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 more fire. My ears are burning. I know God's touching your ears right now. Shut out of us. Yeah. And buzzing, go now in Jesus' name. Sharabakoti, I mm. sever, sever every cord attached to your ears right now in Jesus' yeah. name. Shada, see wow. wow. Go ahead, woman. Of God. There's, there's one more person here, uh, buzzing in my ears. Listen, if you're experiencing something in your ears right now, just comment below. Comment below. Yeah, comment below. Ooh. Hallelujah. Now, Shoot. I want to pray for one more person here. Um, stomach issues, Geraldine, La, La Chicha, spasm okay. on the upper stomach to leave, and also uh, another stomach or liver uh, pain from Juan Martinez. So yeah, go ahead and pray and release the miracle there. I'm feeling pain in my ears now. Lord, we just release uh -huh. the fire over ears right now in Jesus' name. Complete healing. Yeah. All pain go now. Holy Stomach God. issues. Be healed. I command every infirmity uh, cast out of your stomach, livers yeah. right now. We, yeah. I just plead the blood of Jesus over colitis right now in Jesus' name. I see like um, holes being repaired in the stomach right now. Mm. I release the fire of God yeah. over your stomach. I declare complete healing. I see like somebody's feeling the fire in your gut right now. Um, it's like supernatural oh. surgery is happening on your stomach right now. Yeah. All damage from alcoholism be healed right now in Jesus wow. name. Woo! Yeah. Shut up. Fire. Wow. Fire. <laughs> Fire. 
<laughs> wow, I, I literally see like it's so I've never seen this. I see like little swords coming down into spirit from heaven. Just Whoa. like little daggers where like God's about to like just like it's it's like raining little daggers in the spirit. What that means is he's dealing with the little issues, like mm -hmm. surgery. When you have a little scalpel, you deal with the little intricate issues. God's just, it's so funny. I've never seen anything like this right now. So God's dealing with the little intricate issues in your being, in your body, in your life. So come, Lord, come in Jesus' name. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Well, amen. Listen, people of God, you know, uh, uh, this was a powerful, wonderful time. Thank you uh, for coming on, Prophetess. You know, we love you. We appreciate you. Can't wait to... Uh, be with you in due time in Seattle and vice yeah. versa. Um, but, uh, you know, talk to us, uh, you know, is there anything coming up uh, on your side that uh, you would like to invite people to be a part of or anything, or how can we follow you, uh, et cetera, et cetera? So you guys can follow me at my page at Sherelle Barrera Ministries or Sherelle Barrera. So come and follow me. Uh, we do have a conference coming up in December with Ren Shuffman. He's coming from Oklahoma. And then we're planning something with Pastor Ben Lim here in Washington around the first of the year. So everybody's really excited about that. So we're going to be making flyers. And uh, we also, um, you know, if you guys live in the area, come check us out. Uh, we see miracles every Sunday, and it's just an honor. It's just such a blessing to be used by God and and just just see everything that He's doing in this past year. It's just been amazing. Mm. Wow, yeah. incredible! Well, you and your husband Melvin and your family, y'all are doing such an incredible job. We love you. We're so proud of you, and so glad that uh, you know you're taking a greater, bolder stand. Uh, in these times, we need that. Amen. So I'm yeah. so glad you you came on, uh, jumped live uh, on the broadcast. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. Look at that. Uh, testimony from Stephanie P. I've had a lump in the right side of my neck for the last eight years, like a gland. You prayed for lumps in the neck, and then said left side. I raised oh my, my hands to receive it. I felt my right side of the neck. It sticks out like a grape. It was not there. It went down. I can't find it now. Wow. Doctors said I had three tumors in my thyroid, too. I oh, believe so those went as well. The pain is gone there. Come on. Someone say hallelujah. Jesus, Amen. come Open. on. Send me those Ooh. testimonies, Pastor Ben. We got to share those. Absolutely. We will absolutely do that. Jesus is king. Jesus is great. God is good. Thank you so much, woman of God, for coming on. We Thanks love you. We appreciate you. you. Praise we God. Love you too. Uh, yes, praise God. God bless. We'll see you soon. All right, woman of God. Yeah, praise the Lord. So, um, shut that up, Baba. Y'all can y'all can exit, uh, escort Miss Sherelle out of the broadcast now. Thank you. <laughs> so, listen, tomorrow we are going to be live with Prophetess Agnes Abedi at the same time, ten a.m. PST. Sister Agnes Abedi. It's going to be powerful. And of course, Wednesday, we have Matt Cruz. And on Thursday, we got Brother Marcus Rogers. It's going to be incredible. But I want to invite you. I want you to post it on right now, friends. Uh, I want to invite you. We have a live crusade today, tomorrow. All right, for seven days with Evangelist Ankit Rambabu. We have a live crusade. It's going to be in incredible. We have Christafari, uh, you know, a Christian reggae band coming to play worship music. We have other worship bands coming. It's going to be powerful and incredible. So you need to come in here in Costa Mesa, Southern California, Orange County. Come, come, come. We love you. Come. All right, come today. It starts today at 7 p.m. I want you to post it. Why is nobody posting it? I want you to come today at 7 p.m. Or, or come Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come every day, all day, all right, every seven days. All right, Ankit Rambabu is a spiritual son of Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown. And uh, he's also a spiritual grandson of Reinhard Bonnke, okay? So listen, we invite you. We welcome you. I know Alana is putting in the Eventbrite link there. Shandarabababa. So blessings to you. Love you. Bless you. This is Pastor Ben Lim. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. PST for day two, part two of Prophetic Fire with Prophetess Agnes Abedi. Amen. God bless. Shalom. You can exit me out now and then end the broadcast.